Let's build our math sense and problem solving skills to solve any math problem faster and smarter. I'm a state math champion helping you ace math, whether it's school or math competitions. And for more information about this series, then go here. We're gonna solve a fun problem live today. And every time I ask a question, try to pause the video and answer it yourself first. How many numbers do we count if we count by threes? 22, 25, 28, dot, 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 to 100. Do you have any ideas? What about an easier question? Counting from five, six, seven, eight, dot, 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 all the way to 20. What is your answer there? A key for solving problems the smart way is to start from small examples. So what if we try to count numbers five, six, seven, eight, nine, dot, 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 all the way to 20? How many numbers do you count? What's your answer? Okay, hopefully you have a number in your head, but no, it's not just 20 minus five. Why is that? Well, if you count the five fingers on your hand, one through five, it's not five minus one equals four. It's one, two, three, four, five. That's because you have to include the first number. So the number of numbers that you count would actually be 20 minus five plus one. So that would be 16 numbers you count if you're counting five, six, seven, all the way to 20. The solution, there is a formula for the original problem, but as always, we don't want to rely on memorization. For me, without even remembering the formula, I can know it really quickly because all I do is take the last number minus the first number, divide by the increments, we'll say the increment is K. So if we think about this logically, we're going from 22, 25, 28, all the way to 100 by threes. Threes is the increment. So if we take the last number minus the first number and then divide by the increment of three, we get how many of these gaps there are. And the number of numbers we count would just be the number of gaps plus one. That's because just like in the counting fingers example, we need to include the number that was left off at the start of counting. So then we just write our own formula by understanding where this comes from. So it's the last number represented by L minus the first number F divided by K. K will be our increments. Here K is three plus one. This means in our original problem, we have 100 minus 22 over three plus one, and that equals 27 numbers we count, our answer. Did you understand? Sometimes these math competition ways of thinking will take a little to get used to, so feel free to watch this and go through it yourself on paper as many times as you need. Practice problem. How many numbers do we count if we count by sevens? 105, 112, 119, dot, 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 all the way to 1001. Leave your answer in the comments. Next time's problem, calculate one plus two plus dot, 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 plus all the way to 36. We'll see what the smart solution is next time. Bye.